Become a channel member to gain early access to all 5M scripting videos. Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to port forward your 5M server so that people that aren't on your network can join your server. If you're home hosting your server, you'll need to do this before other players are around the world can join your server. If you're running a server through Zap hosting, you don't need to do this because it will already be done automatically by them. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your internet browser and in the URL bar, you're going to want to type 192.168.1.254. This will take you to your home routers configuration page where we can configure your firewall. And then once you get there, it may be a little bit of a different layout to my one, but they generally follow the same layout. Uh, you're going to want to find your firewall settings so for me i have to go to advanced settings and then into firewall it will prompt you to enter an admin password which will be located on your router or you can contact your internet service provider to get that if you can't find it so once you've entered your firewall settings you're going to need to press create a new port forwarding rule uh, and then in the rule name you can just call it 5m or something along those lines just so you know what this rule is uh, and then when you select a device, you're going to want to find your computer. Uh, so you may have named your computer or it just may be called something quite unintuitive. You can also just press Windows and pause break on your keyboard and it will bring up your Windows settings and it will show your device name on there. Uh, and that should be the name that is followed on your hub. So if you select that device and then for the external and internal ports, you're going to want to put 30120 for all of them. This is the default port that 5M uses. You can use other ports, but it's highly recommended to use the default port uh, as it greatly makes things easier when people are trying to connect to your server. As for the protocol, you want to do a TCP and UDP. As for yourself, you may need to create two separate rules, one for TCP and one for UDP. Uh, my browser or my internet service provider has a rule that does both. So I'm just going to set that and then press the plus to add the rule. And then I'm going to press save to add the rule into my firewall. So now that this has been added just here, I can now close this down. And for some people, that will be all you need to do. You may now be able to start up your server and your friends can join. But there may be another step that you need to do, uh, which will be going into the Windows Defender firewall and then go to advanced settings. And on here, you'll show inbound and outbound rules. So in here, you may need to press create new rule. And it'll be port next. You've got TCP and UDP. You're going to need to make two separate ones. Uh, so specified local port, once again, will be 30120. And then just allow the connection. You may not, you may want to do if it's secure. That's completely up to you on how, you, how uh, your security preferences are. Uh, so this one will be called 5M TCP. And then we'll make a new one for a port. And this one will be UDP. And it'll be once again, 30120. Allow the connection, all of those and do this one 5m udp like so once they're added in that should be everything done on here alternatively if you don't want to add these yourself what you can do is just i'll delete those just to have a proof of concept uh, and then when you run your start.bat it should prompt you just here as a window security alert just to allow access you don't need to do private networks you can just do public networks and allow access and once you've pressed allow on that that will automatically update the firewall settings to allow people to join your server so whilst I join the server, I'm just going to show you my friend's perspective of when he tried to join the server before I port forwarded versus when he tried to join the server after I port forwarded. So on the first connection, when he tried to join without me port forwarding, uh, it just didn't allow the connection. But after that, he tried to join with the port forwarding and it allowed him to join the server as usual. That is everything for today. As usual, please leave a like, share with your friends, and be sure to join the support discord linked at the top of the description if you need any support. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.